Hey guys, welcome back. It's Hetty, and for today's video, we're doing part 26 of the Fan Art Feb series. And I can't believe we only have two days left. But for today, I'm actually at a convention right now when you're seeing this. Um, it's not my first one, but it's the biggest one I've done. Because I did do a little one in my town, which was absolutely rubbish. So I don't think that counts. So let's count this as my first one. Yay. And it's the MCON in Burton. So. Yeah, I'm kind of. I'm hoping it's going well. I, ha I was kind of doing a mad rush the night before to do this video and to get all the prints and everything ready. I mean, I've got a lot of it done, but some of them I've just got to finish packaging them up and then trying to figure out a table layout as well because I'm sharing a table with my friend. So it's like really trying to figure out a good way to set everything out and pricing. Oh my god, it's just taking like. Uh, I don't even know what to price some things at, but the artwork for today's video, I'm actually drawing on one of the, the sketchbooks I made to sell at the convention, and I'm doing Ursula from The Little Mermaid. I was originally going to draw Ariel, but then I thought, everyone does Ariel, so why not try and do Ursula in my drawing style? And I'm really pleased with how it turned out. I think I could have... I was a bit generous in... well would you call it generous? I don't know. I made her a bit too thin. For her character design she should be a lot bigger than I've drawn her which I didn't want to draw her too big because she's got to fit on this small sketchbook so I didn't want it to be like huge but I'm still practicing drawing larger body types so I'm pleased with how this turned out but I do definitely need to practice drawing different body types more so I think that's my next task to do as well after Fun Art Feb has finished. So if you see more broader body types then yeah that's why. But I just I made these little sketchbooks just doing um, saddle stitch binding and it's just I don't even remember what weight paper it is. Um, it's not super heavy I think it's like just over a hundred gram um, or something like that sketch paper with just coloured card on the front and I thought this teal colour would work really well with um, a Little Mermaid themed sketchbook and the colours actually came out really well on it so I was using my markers and because the texture of this card is quite smooth I think that's why it didn't soak up the ink as much as a different sketchbook would have. Um, it did take a lot of ink and it did go through really easy and I kind of when I started doing this again I forgot to put something in between <laughs> Um, so that was fun, but luckily not very much had gone on to the first page of the book, so it worked out fine And I don't know why this bit's out of focus. Ah, there we go. We're back But yeah Um, the only thing I would say is the reds for her lips and nails didn't turn out as bright as I wanted But her skin worked really well on the blue background Um, if I didn't go over it enough though with the ink some of the blue dye from the paper started to come through so that was one thing I did have to watch out for but I did I'm actually using my new Kuretake brush pen that my husband's bought me and this one is I did use it in yesterday's video as well but it's very different to the normal Kuretake ones I use this is closer to the Pentel brush pen but so much better the nib on it is really soft which I thought it would make it more difficult to have control with it because it's a lot more sensitive to pressure but even though it's softer than the Pentel brush pen I like it more it's, I find it a lot easier to get a smoother line and better control with it with that brush pen than with the Pentel one so that was quite a surprise it's I'm not at the point where I can do fine details with it because it has got a really fine point but if you want to try a proper brush pen where it is literally a brush nib then I would recommend this one over the Pentel brush pen and I think it's cheaper Um, I'll try and find a link Um, it probably won't actually be on the video until after the convention but I'll get my husband to give me the link where he got this one for me and it is refillable as well so I'll find a link as well to the refill cartridges it does come with two so it should last but I say that but I've already gone through three cartridges on my Pentel brush pen and I don't really use that a lot anymore but anyway yeah um, I was just gonna do a little rock in the background that she's leaning on but I thought oh no it's it doesn't 
give enough depth to the piece and I wanted it to look like she's underwater even though she's leaning on the rock I still want it to like she's underwater and I'm really sorry that it's out of shot on this at the minute like oh, her head's missing but ah oh, there we go we'll come back in a bit but yeah I thought I'd do seaweed instead and like do different tones of green just to show more depth because I was trying to use some teals and I had a blue marker that matched the colour of the paper really well so it blended it in but it just didn't give it enough depth so I went in with different green markers and I think I need to go through them all because I swear half of them are just dying. The first one I used was on its way out, the second one, that one, I've chucked that one away and but then the other ones I used they were fine. But I'm really happy with how this turned out and I hope this sells. <laughs> if not then any of the stuff I have left over from the convention um, I'm thinking of putting it on a store somewhere because I have a store envy but I never really got around to actually putting stuff on it properly. So if you guys are interested in anything I've got I'm sure I'll have prints spare and maybe even some sketchbooks or I could make sketchbooks if you want them but Anyway, we're at the end of the video now, so I hope you like the artwork and the video, and stick with me for the last two days of Fan Art Feb. But yeah, thanks for watching, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye!